uh, all going at different speeds. That is the problem, you see. And we're talking today about the stress of simply walking down the high street these days. Now, almost half of us say we would be very happy to see the introduction of fast walking lanes for shoppers. What do you think? <laughs> The fast lanes. So you're in a rush. That's the way you go. What do you think, Janet? Good idea. Brilliant idea. Can't wait for it. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I'm a lot taller than Linda, so my pace at normal speed is about double hers anyway, without her flip flops on and a <laughs> double buggy. <laughs> Nothing drives me more mad than you go in a shop and someone's blocking all the way in, the way out with the double buggy. I'm sorry, I know it's against the law, but can't you leave it outside? No, you can't leave them outside. <laughs> <laughs> well, obviously, when I'm in the country, we're going to have that law revoked. But going up and down the street, you've got all these people staring at their phone. Yes, they're Colleen like, Nolan. Mm, Colleen mm, Nolan. Mm, yeah. Yeah. But they'll be doing that in the fast lane. Not if I'm not with me, on their phone. because I'm going to issue special pointy elbow things. So, <laughs> I, they'll be like the things you have for roller skating, so as you're in the fast lane, you're going to pointy elbow things to elbow. <laughs> Why are you rushing anyway? Why are you rushing? Why are you always rushing? Just take Places your time. Places to go to, people to see. We've all got no, places to go. Our agenda is not very busy. Uh, I'm very busy. I'm a very busy woman. But where are you going to put the buggies? You can't just leave them outside the shop. Not nowadays, well, can you? Well, obviously, I haven't had a buggy in my child free But lots existence. of people do have buggies. Paddy yeah. McGuinness will have a double buggy. He's got well, things. I tell you what, why doesn't every major supermarket and shopping centre in Britain have a buggy park and pay for entertainers and put all the buggies in it? <laughs> and then... <laughs> Their children with them. <laughs> I want my children. Me, I never, never left my children outside a shop. You can't leave them outside. Yeah, but they are in their twenties now, Lady. <laughs> <laughs> No. It's funny because in China they have got a fast walking lane already, but apparently when they tried the experiment in the first place, it was tried in uh, Washington DC. It was a failure because everybody in the fast lane was um, on their phones. Exactly. Yes. Yes. You see, that's really? the thing. They said so they're saying they weren't even noticing that there was a fast lane. People like you, like that. Texting. You see, know, people are walking me, along, I'm walking actually. along behind somebody, and then they just stop dead because yeah. their phone's rung and you crash into them. Or the ones that stop dead and have a full on conversation but stay in the middle of, the, of a very small pavement. Yeah. You want to go, I don't mean to be rude, just, could you just have that over there? You know, Or just on. shove with a but pointed I elbow don't, like that. <laughs> you see, when I'm in a rush, I hate all of that. Mm. When you're like, oh, hurry up. And then when I'm not in a rush and I'm, I'm just having a nice day out, I hate people like that going, can you move? Yeah. And I think, oh, chill out. Which is why a fast lane would be good, because on your dawdling days, yes. you could be in the slow lane, and on your lane. fast days in the fast lane. I think exactly. it's a great idea.